Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, tonight's American Migraine Foundation Facebook Live event. Uh, I am Dr. Thomas Burke of the NYU Langone Health System. Uh, I am uh, a genetic specialist uh, here at NYU. Uh, tonight's uh, topic is rebound headaches. Um, and I'll talk to you a little bit about rebound headaches. Happy to answer lots of questions about rebound headaches. Also happy to, uh, you know, answer, you know, some relevant questions also. Uh, sometimes getting a little bit too into the particulars can, can be a little tricky. Uh, and each individual situation is unique, but happy to uh, answer lots of questions too. So, uh, thanks so much and uh, good day. And um, again, welcome. My name is Dr. Thomas Burke, and I'll talk uh, at least initially about uh, rebound headaches. So um, the technical term of the thing that I'm talking about, which can sometimes get a little confused, is uh, medication overuse headache. There are some variations of the term, and not everyone likes that term, medication overuse headache. Uh, but um, this is uh, and the rebound phenomenon. Some people talk about um, ineffectively treating a, uh, a headache and uh, you know a migraine and you know still having lingering effects of the headache you know hours or days uh, later and uh, that's not exactly what I'll be talking about although I'll touch on that just a bit. So um, again, welcome to everybody, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, rebound headaches. Uh, so hello to everybody. Um, to just put it into perspective, what is a rebound headache? What is medication overuse headache in general? The idea behind it is this concept that the vast majority of medications that you take to stop a migraine rather than to prevent a migraine. If you use them too frequently, and that terminology could vary based on what the medicine that you're taking is, sometimes too frequently it can start to cause more frequent and more severe headaches. Um, specifically in migraine, much more uh, noted phenomenon when people have uh, migraineous headaches, depending on the kind of medication that they take, some they take that medicine too frequently, their headaches can become more frequent and can become more severe. So sometimes the idea behind the rebound headache is that the problem with the headache at a certain point can be the medicine. Now, just to tell you, rebound headache is a very controversial topic. Some people don't believe it exists at all, though so those are people that are, you know, somewhere on the extreme. And some people think that taking a little bit of basically any medication, even without taking it too often, can start to lead to the truth is somewhere very likely in between. Um, and specifically in this phenomena, if you go based on the criteria that we use to, to categorize headaches, we... Um, um, you know, you, you actually have to have had some improvement in the headaches after you have stopped the offending medication. Um, so just to lead you through uh, some ideas of this, there are a number of medications that happen to cause rebound headache more frequently than others. And when I say more frequently, that means that even if you take these medicines a handful of times, it's more likely that your headaches are going to become more frequent and more severe. Um, a lot of the information that um, that we, uh, you know, determine, you know, uh, you know, whether these things are risk factors for making uh, headaches more frequent and more severe, um, more, uh, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of this information is, uh, you know, comes from uh, some very well known epidemiologic studies, studies that look at patients from all over the country or from around the world and look at risk factors. Why did some people who had episodic migraine, they had migraines a couple of times a month, maybe once or twice a week, 
why did they suddenly start to have an increase in the frequency of migraines? There is a subpopulation, a small amount of people, where despite doing everything the right way, they just will start to develop chronic migraine, migraine 15 or more days than not. But when you do look at the risk factors, some medications, even taking them just a handful of times, can increase the frequency of migraine. Um, and for the most part, the medications are narcotics. We talk about like opiate medicines. Those are medicines that have morphine and morphine-like you know, uh, uh, medications in them. So some well-known medicines like that are Percocet, um, uh, oxycodone, hydrocodone, um, hydromorphone, which is dilaudid. These are medicines that, uh, as we, uh, you know, kind of progress with uh, our medical knowledge, as we understand more and more in general about chronic pain, we know that some of these medications really aren't chronic pain situations, migraine being one of them, and certainly specifically with migraine, the use of any of these medicines, even as much as four times in a month has been associated with opening frequency of migraine and eventually becoming migraine becoming chronic migraine. Uh, there's another medicine that works a lot of times in headache, but when you use it a lot of, you know, too frequently at a similar frequency to the, to the opiates, it's been associated with an increase in the frequency of migraines. And um, that medicine is called Fioracet. Fioracet uh, is a combination pill. It has butelbital, which is not an opiate. It is a phenobarbital derivative. It's a medicine that was developed in the 30s, 40s, 50s. When you hear people talk about, um, you know, some anxiety medicines and, and uh, uh, you know, in way back when, they, they talk about medicines sometimes like phenobarbital. It's really only used nowadays, phenobarbital itself, as a medicine that helps to control seizures in, really, and not, not even in smaller kids. And, um, and uh, you know, phenobarbital derivatives, they can be uh, medications that can lead to a degree of dependence. Uh, and many times, uh, the, um, the epidemiologic studies show that even if you use them uh, more frequently than not, which is not a very high frequency, about once a week, which is about four times in a month, it sometimes can be associated uh, with uh, a higher frequency and severity of migraines. So a lot of times uh, when you are going to see your headache specialist or neurologist or doctor about uh, the medications that you're going to use, to treat the uh, the individual migraines, uh, basically just a, just about every doctor is going to say one important thing you have to know is that there are limitations to this medicine.